been struggling for years with certain problems, which we some of which we touch upon in the paper. Uh, one one of these is the more or less power law mis misdistribution of resources, and another is the tendency of uh, governments and those that we entrust with our care to treat individuals if, as if they're uh, expendable, competing, uh, uh, unimportant. Uh, um, Organisms within an ecosystem, the, the 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 harsh, impartial, competitive, evolutionary process. Uh, whereas, what we really need, in my view, is to treat individuals as if their cells and b organs within a body to be nurtured appropriately, cared for. And I've been struggling for years to find uh, 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 an approach to categorizing that and reducing it. And uh, this this to me answered a large number of those questions, so we decided we were going to focus upon this. But we couldn't squeeze much into the 8,000 words, so this is the start of a journey for us, which we uh, uh, hope others will contribute to. Okay. Uh, I've got a question for you as well. Uh, you mentioned towards the end that copy you, you view copyright uh, as as a form of currency, yeah. would you exp exp expound yeah, well, on this? One of the things about that is, yeah, good point. Um, my my view is that the, the, the currencies, the meta currency guys use currency as they spell it, spell it current hyphen C S E E. So they they talk about currencies as being a way of seeing flows of value taking place, right? So my, what, the, what I was exploring there was the idea that in terms of this learning network stuff, this is where innovation takes place. If you think about the copyright law and pa the patent system, which is very badly broken, but it is an attempt to record the value of things that took place in learning networks to, to register intellectual property. So I would say that actually that's a form of currency. It's a form for learning networks. We haven't articulated it properly. It's really badly designed, and we could probably do a lot better by using things like blockchain technology to rec record attribution of you know, prior art and stuff like that, and we could do a lot better job on it. Does, is, does that answer your question? Well, well, obviously, uh, what we're doing I here, yeah, we're raising lots and lots of questions because the sense that we have is that people are inventing different currencies, but they're not. We d we haven't got a model for how they're related to each other, and this is an attempt to create that. Well, it's just uh, a comment for the pleasure of intellectual discussion. Um, I see that you picture your idea on how the whole economy works. And <coughs> the problem is that I see the problem with the uh, um, community currencies. Imagine uh, we are Charles Chaplin, and we are in the middle of the factory. And, chun 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 chun. and the first thing we want to do is to escape to this machine. I see that probably the big questions is when we gain a bit more space, then this ideas about the whole, I think we have like more burning needs just to provide us with a little bit more space between chum and chum in the, in the money machine we have now. Mm -hmm. So I see that a bit too far. And the second big question is, why should we have money for all? For example, I see we need, I, I know the meta currency. Now, why should copyright or intellectual property right be represented as a value? Why should childcare be represented as a value? Why should the usage of the nature be represented at any kind of monetary system at all? Because the first question, is how many of those boxes correspond to a monetary representation. Because the others, I think, it's very dangerous to start thinking about
put in a, a monetary expression at all. I, I think it, it's vitally important that we don't conflate the term currency with money. A currency is essentially anything which is changeable and flowing. Now, different kinds of money could be associated with them under some circumstances, but it's also large, a, lo a lot about currencies, which is a bigger issue. So there, th there was room for potentially for some confusion there, I'll accept, but we had limited time and space to actually clarify those, those details. But you, okay, you brought up you brought up a point we need to make clearer. However, I believe the fundamental argument is sound, and I also believe that uh, this is an urgent an urgent thing, because at the moment, as we see it, the approaches are insufficiently ambitious in many cases. Okay, thank you so much.